On this YouTube channel, you know we like to bring you the latest and greatest going on with the Baltimore Ravens and love to keep a positive vibe, positive energy, because I feel like that is extremely important because people don't need to be walking around all mopey and sad and whatnot. But uh, sometimes we got to be the bearer of bad news. And in this case, we got to talk about something that we may never, ever see uh, from our Baltimore Ravens, ever. Uh, Lamar Jackson. J.K. Dobbins, Mark Andrews, Rashad Bateman, Ronnie Stanley, all good to great players for our Baltimore Ravens. We love when they're on the field. We love watching them all make plays because we have seen each of them make plays in their own way. They have had significant impacts on the Baltimore Ravens when they are on that field, but there have been times when they are not on that field for our Baltimore Ravens. Um, and we have just, uh, when, when they're missing, we miss that potential. We miss what they bring. We miss their vibe. We miss their energy. We miss their playmaking on the field. And the Ravens have, in some ways, made up for it. And in some cases, they, they haven't made up for it. But something that Jonah Schaefer brought out the other day when it was confirmed that J.K. Dobbins would be out for the remainder of the season. He said, a heartbreaking what could have been for the Ravens offense. Five cornerstone players have played zero snaps together in their entire career. With Dobbins' season over, they probably never wheel and that's really sad to think about it's really really sad to think about and i know it's purple friday so we're getting ready for the Bengals game i know i ain't trying to kill the vibe or nothing like that but it's it's a harsh reality because this season going into the season and y'all know me i have continued to talk about weapons for the baltimore ravens for years and how i feel like they could have done a much better job of investing in weapons for the baltimore ravens for years Outside weapons, inside weapons, everything, all together. And I feel like this was really the offseason where Eric DeCosta and them, they really went in with providing weapons uh, both draft-wise and outside free agents and, and keeping their own guys as well. And I was like, wow, they, they really went in, and I loved it. And I'm thinking, all right, this could be a very special year. The Baltimore Ravens, their biggest enemy, though, like we continue to talk about, is health. Health was the biggest thing that could mess up the Ravens' plans. But health has, has been the biggest thing that has messed up the Ravens' plans. And with those players right there, those five guys right there, health has not allowed us to ever see them all on the field at the same time. And this year, it was seeming like, all right, because this is not a new statistic or anything like that. This is not something that just came about. This is something that's been talked about for a while. But this was a season where I was like, all right, hey, Week one, we about to get all of those guys, all of them healthy, everybody feeling good. All right, hey, look, Lamar Jackson, he's back. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, he's in the building. All right, Rashad Bateman, he hit Ronnie Stanley. All right, Mark Andrew, but then a quad injury messed all of that up. And we didn't get to see Mark Andrews out there on the field week one. Now, he's expected, I, I, well, I would think he's expected to play against the Bengals. The way that he was talking in the, in the presser yesterday, it sounded like he's going to play. But still, he, we were so close to find for the first time to finally get an all five of them on the field at the same time but nope injury messed it up it messed it up it took it away and you know how that's got to feel for the players themselves individually that's tough because you know dealing with an injury because you can't work you can't do what you've been working your entire life to do you can't be out there on that football field and you got to sit back and watch your teammates play. And while you're rooting your teammates on, you think, oh, that should have been me. I should have been out there. But then you think about the front office, how they put a lot of time and effort into the scouting and to, to the contracts and just to putting this team together. And you don't even get to see a, a full final product because injuries have taken it away. And I know injuries are a part of the game. Injuries are a part of football. It's a very physical sport. We get that. We know that. But, again, with Ravens injuries, it just seems like they are on a, a, an entirely different level from everybody else in the league. And it's the craziest thing. But it's just something that I, I just I had to bring up because I was thinking about it. Uh, I've been thinking about this for the past couple of days. Um, and I, I was just like, man. That's really sad because we don't know what's going to happen with J.K. Dobbins at the end of his contract. Since he is at the end of his contract, are the Ravens going to bring him back on a super cheap deal? They could, or are they going to move on? They, they could as well. So only time will tell. But time has told us that these five guys have never and may never play for the Baltimore Ravens all at the same time, ever.